Hello. Hello. Is this audio okay? Hi, hey, Burnett. Hey, Burtonet. Zoomy light. Pro ER9. Guten Tag. Servus. Cool. I'm using the um, NVIDIA, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Stream thing. NVIDIA stream shit, bullshit, whatever. I don't... So my hair regimen is um, rinse it, dry it, blow dry it on warm, and then I put a curl cream in, and then I finger comb it. Hold on. Thanks, Tetrix. Are you coming in here, Sess, or what? I've got to figure out a better, hold on. Okay. So I'm still, I'm still like fighting with this thing. And like, I know it's like kind of better, <laughs> but it's also really aggravating. Sure. Crying a lot. Why don't you get up in your little tower and then I can turn your camera on. Thank you. Luco Lucan CO <sighs> Reviving Darklands, man. I don't know what would be required for that now. The drink? All right, hold on. Kyperinia hours. What'd you get, Dorbine? You just woke up after drinking way too many Kyperinias and smoking too much weed. It's not a, it's a Kyperinia. Mogwai are a very sick band. I'm wearing this today. I think I bought this like 20 years ago, the shirt. Um, Cause they, uh, Happy Songs for Happy People came out 20 years ago today. I don't, I, why, I don't know. Lucancio, Lucancio, Lucancio. What am I, what's going on? Visit Brazil. Okay. I am going to be vis visiting Argentina, by the way, in September. Um, I think you have to use Cachaca in Kyperinias. Yeah, that's what I'm using. This isn't a Necro, by the way. I did not wind up going biking. Thank you, Relic. Well, maybe I will go to Brazil after Argentina. But I'm going there for... Um, game conference the stream waiting image the peasants killing the night um Jean de Froibert I think his name is it's like Jean de Froibert 
and his, uh, he's the artist, or wait, Jean Froissart. I'm like making, it's something like that. It's Jean and then beginning, it's French or Flemish. And it's from an illustration of the Jacquerie of fifth, uh, 1458, I believe. Komi ich dieses Jahr zu Gamescom? Wahrscheinlich nein. Uh, ich habe kein, keine, uh, kein neues Spiel. Und ja. Uh, yeah. Aber es ist möglich. Aber nicht, nicht so möglich. Um, danke. Uh, Spanker Prime, thank you. Thank you so much, Kloppage. I'm sorry I can't keep up with the uh, comments here. What are you doing, Sesame? Do you want to go out again? All right. Um, I don't speak Arabic. I took Arabic um, for a term in college and it was very interesting, but I, I didn't um, wind up studying Arab or Spanish history. I thought I might study uh, the history of, of Moorish Spain um, and a few other things. And uh, yeah, I just didn't continue with it. So unfortunately, but it's a beautiful language. Oh, it's warming up in here. Hello. All right, let's get in here. I don't know what I'm doing. dots it's not a black donald playthrough it's sorcerer i've heard through the grapevine that sorcerers are bad but i don't know i can't have dog meat i surreal z thank you number series i can't remember um roads blocked oh maybe it's uh maybe it's supposed to be that the sorcerer is bad in late game i don't know i barely played this I just know everyone's playing Necromancer, and that was my first instinct, so I decided to um, not do that. Glass cannon. Nice. Classic. Ooh, that was a little hitch. Cool. Sweet. Glad to hear it, Haminator boy. Fable? I don't... I never played Fable very much. Hey, what's up, man? <laughs> More dots. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, he ain't gonna make it. Oh, shift. All right, thank you. Um... Thank you, Sweet Wolf XXX. I've not been anywhere in South America, unfortunately, but I'm, I'm going to Argentina later this year. Yeah, I don't think I've played long enough to really form an opinion of Diablo 4 yet. Didn't advanced tool... T I like advanced tooltips. Treatments of the Dying. You know, what's that? Yeah. Sounds bad. Oh, no. Yeah. 
Have I ever worked on a top-down RPG? I mean, technically, yeah, I worked on Gauntlet for a year and a half and then left. <clears throat> Napoleonic Era? I haven't studied the Napoleonic Era very much. I did play Carcassonne and Carcassonne. Yeah. Yeah. Level 91 hardcore death that happened from status effects carrying through loading screen. Very funny. And yeah, Deadfire did eventually become profitable. Um, I haven't really brought up... I mean, we got a lot of projects going on right now. So I haven't really brought up, like, anything like Pillars 3. I don't know, though. It just doesn't seem like the audience... Um, like, yeah, it was profitable in the long term. But compared to... Um, <laughs> what are you guys doing? Compared to, like, how well... Um, For example, like the owl, the owl Cat games or um, Divinity Original Sin 2 or um, Baldur's Gate 3, I'm sure, is going to do very well. I just don't think... Um, I don't think the audience is, like, uh, basically digs. <laughs> digs the style of, um, of game that I make in that way overall. Thank you. I can't read Polish, so I apologize. Sir Mienzi? Mienzi. I can't. I'm sorry. I can't read Polish. Um, I don't think it's a... Well, maybe it's an issue with the setting, but I think it's just this... I don't know. I don't know. Hey, Sabgal. Sabgal? Yeah. All right, here we go. Here we go. Immersive Sim. I mean, not a ton. I, I like Immersive Sims, but I haven't really thought about designing them myself. When writing Pentiment, was I thinking of Deadwood? No, I mean, I like Deadwood, but wasn't thinking of it. The Secrets. Oh, yeah, you guys can't see the map. Hold on. Let me, um, let me die. Hold on. <laughs> That's not what I want. What is going on? Sorry. Hours played. We should start charging. Oh, I blew it. I went the wrong way. Okay. That's not what I wanted. Okay. Just in 13 Ocean, um, I mean, everything's voice acted other than the narration <laughs> in Deadfire. Not if her pillars, or Pillars 1 it isn't, but Deadfire, everything's voiced. Yeah, I'd say I'm a historical materialist, more or less. Did I get those? Okay. We heard you like Strider shoes, so we put some Strider shoes on your Strider shoes. Right? Very complicated? I don't think they're very complicated. Oh, the first game, yeah. Deadfire went to full VO. We also changed how the dialogue nodes themselves were structured to put narrative stuff later. Fiendish folio. Cool. Any of the new game announcements over the last week? Uh, South of Midnight looks cool. Um, I think that was the big new one. Like, just vibes-wise. I don't know what the game is. <laughs> Oh 
down. Um, I'm the studio design director, so I give I give feedback on Avowed and Outer Worlds 2 and everything, but that's it. I do like tactics games. I have not, I've never been to Korea. The only place I've been in Asia is Singapore. Hey, Litzel. Jagged Alliance, classic. I'm drinking, uh, or I am done drinking a Kyperinia. They sure do go on quick. <laughs> hey, what's up? I'm a sorcerer. Warrior. Uh, beautiful bear in a tutu. So you remember more or less mentioning I have a pretty thick skin for feedback, but in my experience, how do other devs handle it? Does Obsidian have some system for gathering feedback and filtering it? No, people just, <laughs> they're big kids. They can, <laughs> they can do things on their own. Um, I think all the managers typically have like pretty thick skins for this stuff. Oh, 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 oh. where'd you guys come from? Get out of here. Um, the looking or the uh, Starfield 45 minute deep dive uh, was good. That was a good deep dive. Um, I think that. I mean, I can't say for sure, but I did think it was, uh, in terms of features especially, give a very clear, clear picture of what it is. Um, something I probably would have liked in a game that's an RPG is to see something like a quest walkthrough. But in terms of an overview of, like, these are all the things that you do in the game, I thought it was very solid, very in-depth. Oh, hey, dude. Whoa, 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 whoa. Yeah. Bike shop RPG, the dream. The dream is still lives on. Oh. Thank you, Kazimov boy. Star Wars Outlaws. So the thing is, like when I saw the trailer, I said, yeah, that looks, um, damn it. I was like, yeah, that looks very Star Wars-ish, but there's no gameplay. And then they had the 10 minute um, walkthrough. That's a lot of guys. Hold up, hold on, calm down. You guys are getting real worked up. Whoa, 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 whoa. You guys need to cool it. Do I still think Unity kind of sucks for making IE style CRPGs? Um, the thing that really sucked about using Unity in the Unity 4 era was how it organized and packaged data and iterating on that was very frustrating. 
Um, we externalized all of that by dead fire, uh, and I didn't have to really work with it at all. I do think the load time issue is a persistent, frustrating thing, and I don't know what the um, best solution for that is, given the... What are you guys doing? Uh-oh. Whoa, 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 whoa. Oh, no. Uh-oh. Cool stuff. Hold on, everybody. Cool stuff is happening. Can you calm down? Um... Sorry, I'm having trouble keeping up. Um, books, what I recommend to prepare for a Pentiment playthrough. I actually had a post on that, that if you search, if you search for like Josh Sawyer recommend books, Pentiment, you can probably find it. I'm not a hardcore madman. Wasn't the load time in Pillars 1 due to an overuse of game objects? I mean, I'm sure everything contributed to it, but I mean, we externalized all of that stuff in Deadfire. Um, I think it has more to do with, um, again, the actual data size for every level in the game is really huge. Um, I can't remember exactly, but some of those maps have like 13,000 something by, you know, like 10,000 pixel scenes that have five layers each and we can't compress most of them. So, well, it's called Obsidian because it was founded by people from Black Isle. It's not really that complicated. That Kuiperina though. All right, time for some good shit. Look at that. All right. Yes, I did see the PMG Disco Elysium trial video. Trial video? I don't know if I would call it a trial video, but I did see the um, I did see the video. What am I doing? What are we doing? Eat it. Good morning, you have snake. Um, technically, Interplay made um, Fallout 1, but it was essentially the people that founded Black Isle. Or, you know, were later. It was just renamed as a division to Black Isle. <laughs> what are you boys doing? Fuck you. I don't drink coffee, but I drink a lot of uh, Coke Zero. <laughs> like, way too much Coke Zero. Uh, a lot of caffeine and tea. I drink a lot of tea. Um, Kazimov boy, how long did I study German and what advice can I give? Um, I took, so I didn't start German until, unfortunately, until I was um, in college. And then I studied it in college and I wasn't fluent when I left. And then I started taking private lessons. I found someone on Craigslist and I just did we met once a week at a Starbucks and we practiced and he focused on the things that I really wanted to learn and then I mean the big thing for me was I started watching German shows um, and what I would do is I would start with German with English subtitles and then as my proficiency increased I did um, German with German subtitles and then you know like when I was moving over and then I went to, and then just visiting Germany and, Swe and uh, Switzerland and Austria. And I've been to Germany over a dozen times now. And so obviously practicing with people, it's difficult in, um, it's difficult though, especially in big cities in Germany because uh, most Germans have under the age of like 50 or so have fairly high fluency in a big city. But, um, 
Yeah, once you kind of work up your confidence, you can you can do okay. Most Americans do not speak two languages. Um, most Americans just speak English. And then behind that, you have lots of people that grow up speaking um, English and Spanish, typically in the home and <laughs> their home community. And what's the deal with my German grandma? Didn't she teach you? No, um, my grandmother, I mean, she was fairly old by the time I started talking to her about her past. And she was, um, uh, she had forgotten all the German she had learned when she was a child. So uh, that was, yeah, she couldn't, she couldn't teach me German. <laughs> she spoke German, obviously when she lived in Bavaria and then um, she spoke German in the home after her family moved to the United States. And then, um, and then she lost it as an adult. And by the time I started talking to her about it, she was in her seventies, I think. So didn't really remember very much. Um, for shows, I watched dark, which I wouldn't recommend. Like, it's not that it's a bad show. It's, I think it's not a great, it's, there's a lot of metaphysical stuff going on. And I think for learning German, that's tricky. Babylon Berlin um, and then German movies. So I watched like Barbara and Phoenix. Um, uh, ich say, ich say, or a, a good night, mommy. Um, Der Räuber, which is an Austrian movie. That's a little tricky. Um, also, um, Das Finsteratal or The Dark Valley. But Das Finsteratal also, I think, gets into some more. Uh, that's more like Tyrolean German. Uh, yeah. So yeah, that's what I recall. I'm sure there's other stuff that I'm not remembering. Lola Rent, Run Lola Run. Um, a lot of German Americans stopped speaking the language during the forties, what you're told. I think there was a dialect of Texas German at one point. There still is. <coughs> um, in uh, New Braunfels or Neu Braunfels, um, there are still some older people that speak. Um, I think it's a Plattdeutsch dialect. Um, Lives of Others. Um, uh, hey Guinness or Hey Hey Ga Hey Goonies. <laughs> Do you mean uh, Das Leben der anderen? I can't I can't remember the. I'm getting my genders mixed up, but yeah, the Lives of Others is really is very very good good way to maintain the language um you do have to watch it and use it i mean yeah lies of others is an incredible movie i'm sad that i didn't see it until recently very very good Um, oh, another one, Funny Games. <laughs> if you watch the original um, Michael Hineke, um, uh Funny Games, the Austrian version. Rough, rough movie, though. It's very good. <laughs> A lot of people do not like it. Oh, so I had a funny, um, I had a funny experience a long time ago. I went to... Um, I went to uh, Munich many years ago with my girlfriend at the time, and we and it was around Christmas and everything was closed, and so actually, I'll let me let me go to story time mode for this. So <laughs> we went to. Um, sorry, it is warm in here. So we went to um, Munich. And it was Christmas time, so there was not very much open. So we stayed inside, and um, there was not a much, there was not much to watch on TV. So we tried watching Star Trek: The Next Generation, and uh, she told me to translate it in real time, and it was extremely hard. It was like almost impossible because Star Trek, a lot of characters speaking very quickly and using a lot of pseudo-scientific terms and it was very hard and then I changed the channel and turned on The Skulls 3 which is 
Not a good movie, by the way. Um, and it was super easy. I could translate like 90% <laughs> of the movie in real time because it's not, uh, not exactly a brain buster when it comes to the script. So, so the skulls three. <laughs> Uh, the Bozar was hard to tune. The Bozar in New Vegas was very hard to tune because there were so many weapons in the game. Um, and there's no bloom or there's, there's no bloom. There's only spread. And so it was very difficult to find a place for it that felt, uh, solid, but not like super overpowered. Uh, so it was just kind of tricky. It is a Mogwai band stream. Do I, do I buy any physical media anymore, like Criterion Collection? Yeah, I bought the... I bought the. Um, did I miss anything, or is it time for me to go downstairs? Um, I bought the Miller's Crossing Criterion Collection. I haven't gone in here at all. Oh, wait, maybe I did. Um, there were already a shitload of of sniper rifles though. <laughs> like there are so many sniper rifles in new Vegas. I, I, it was difficult for me to think of like a new sniper rifle. So I tried to make a, basically I was like, what is a role that is not currently being fulfilled? And I was like, what about an automatic like scoped rifle? Um, can I program in anything other than HTML? I mean, not really. I mean, I, I learned markup languages and that was about it. Um, I did learn or I tried to learn um, C++ and uh, old JavaScript and stuff like that. But it just it wasn't necessary after I got into game dev, really. So. Hello, Gan Hu. Thank you. How do I feel about the additional pressure and fanboys and that comes from, with being a first party studio? I'm still weirded out by seeing people champion Pentiment, not because they're into narrative adventures, but because they have to prove that Xbox didn't have a meager 2022. I don't care. Like, or rather I do care because I, I don't like, I think it's dumb. <laughs> like get over it. I don't, I don't caring about console wars. No, <laughs> I don't, I don't get it at all. Uh, very, very weird. Do I think that English and literature is valuable to society in our modern age? Uh, I do. New Vegas is the last game you bought in a physical form. Fantastic. You like that traits are being brought into Starfield and the idea of being able to remove them in game is interesting. Curious about your thoughts. If, if you have any, um, yeah, I like traits. I've always liked traits. That's why I was like, traits are back, baby. Um, excuse me. And um, yeah, about being able to remove them, I, it's okay. Like, it's a single player game. I don't really care. <laughs> like, especially when it comes to respecking, though, I just don't care. If someone wants to respec, um, if there's like, you know, a cost to it, so you're not just kind of doing it willy nilly where it's a considered choice. You're like, yeah, you know what? I really don't like this. Um, so yeah. Fromagerie gave away your special edition. Oh no. Is my J Sawyer mod completed? I hope so. Hell touched corridors, baby. Kind of a shame they add a lot of new classes to the Icewind Dale remaster. Kind of made the game too easy. Absolutely, because all the all the um, <laughs> all the kits are super overpowered. Basically, yeah. calm down, yeah. boys. Yeah. Food is served at 7 p.m. Too much. Thank you, Cortex64. 
War Tales, I have not. Uh, what am I doing? Abilities. Um, you know, I've been thinking about Frost. What slows people down? Does Frost slow people down? Yes, they do. Cool. Do I think Obsidian would ever like to do some fantasy RPG with Warcraft? I don't know. I haven't really thought about it, to be honest. Do I use milk or water in scrambled eggs? I use soy milk. <laughs> what kind of PC am I running? Um, hold on. It's not, uh, it's nothing. What are you doing? My spec. So I have a, an i7 8700, 3.7 gigahertz, 16 gigs of RAM and, um, uh, 3080 non TI. That's it. So not crazy. And I just got that 3080. Hello from Newfoundland, uh, Newfoundland. Greetings. Am I ever on 4chan? Never. I don't think I've ever gone there in my life. Thank you. I'm glad you liked Raul. I can't take much credit for Raul other than the basic design of him. Travis Stout wrote a lot of Raul. And I think maybe John Gonzalez might have contributed something to him a little bit. Where are the boys? Y'all got any Diablos? What's going on here? Boys? Boys? Demon's heart? What does that do? Well, it doesn't look very good, does it? How many writers worked on New Vegas? I don't know. Oh, it's an ingredient. Okay. The thoughts on religion? It's really broad. Whoa, 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 what are you doing? Oh, this guy? What are you doing, buddy? Yeah. Thoughts on the human condition? Thoughts on what you had for breakfast on the 5th Thursday of 1997. 19, I was in college, so I, I probably didn't have breakfast, to be honest. Do I vibe with chickpeas? Sure. <laughs> hey, 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 where'd you guys come from? But so I don't I don't know if that's really true. I mean, the one kind of the one humanist you meet in Pentiment is uh, a huge piece of shit. <laughs> so I don't know if that's like. Oh, 
What's your hometown, Snow Remnant? I am using my mouse button to move. Is there a better way to move? I haven't played Diablo since 3. I thought I could... No, I can't use WASD. Oh, before Pentiment. All right. Yeah, I was holding mouse one. I'm mostly holding mouse one. I might try, I might move to controller. We'll see. Um, Bitter chocolate versus sweet. I don't like it super bitter, but not super duper sweet. Favorite book is Name of the Rose. Book I've been reading lately is Stasi Land, which is very interesting. Whoa, what are you doing, buddy? Thank you for exploding. Did you guys prepare for the possibility that Obsidian would get the Baldur's Gate IP? Maybe Fergus did. I didn't care. Like, actually, I shouldn't say that. I didn't want to work on a Baldur's Gate game. Way too many expectations. Like, there were enough expectations working on the Pillars games. Uh, so I was not super, like, keen on the idea of working on an actual BG game. Oh, man. 40 degrees centigrade. <laughs> Sorry. Thank you, Pistol J993. Do I find it difficult sometimes to write characters that are different from you? I don't think so. Yeah, it seems like Larry is doing a good job, but also reading the comments, reading the feedback that Larry gets about BG3, I gotta be frank. I'm super glad I'm not working on that game. <laughs> I just would not, I don't want to deal with that shit. Like I would rather I would rather work on a game that nobody gives a shit about than deal with that. Thank you, Bum Nanner. I'm glad you like Ferrance. I, I felt um, my uh, my grandfather is Hungarian, and so I, I felt like I had to put a little bit of a Hungarian representation in there. Although, other than um, other than sort of eating Hungarian goulash when I was young, I have very little connection to uh, <laughs> um, Hungarian culture. Yeah, well, you know, Pentiment was, um, Payne Austin, um, Pentiment was kind of made in a way for people who don't really game. So, um, you know, hopefully if you do ever show it to your, um, your professor, they'll maybe check it out. Even my mom actually booted it up. I don't think she's actually played any of it, but she did boot it up. This looks, uh, this looks dramatic here, folks. Is this good? Hey everyone, is this good? I'm getting a lot of end boss vibes from this. Is this where the titular Diablo is? Oh no. I'm not ready yet. 
That was cool. God damn it. <laughs> oh no. Oh. Well, geez. This is not working very well. I am getting minioned. Sorry, I'm not paying attention. I'm trying to derbler. What if I murdered you entirely? What if you died? Oh boy, oh boy. What a rush. Any plans? What a thrill. And demons and minions in the night. Um, Stone Shard? No, I've, I don't think I've heard of Stone Shard. Seems pretty good. An RPG in the Halo or Gears universe? Geez, I don't know. I've really played very little of either series. I feel like maybe Halo? I feel like maybe Halo. Because I feel like Halo maybe has a little more, I don't know. It, it just feels like maybe there's more to work with there in terms of what you'd expect in an RPG. Gears Tactics. My seven dead hat, seven hat dead cat. <coughs> Playing dead fire wise and I'm not such a peculiar battle. Um, you know, we tried to make for better or worse. We tried to make the um, critical path of dead fire a lot more straightforward. So if people just wanted to like push through it, they could. Um, but then we had a f quite a few like side dungeons and pieces of content that were just way harder. So, um, yeah, so I think Nemnok, we just wanted to have kind of a tough 
optional boss battle. I think that was kind of the thinking behind it. I mean, skill checks in um, Money Boy 277, um, mm, skill checks in Pentiment are a lot more involved. I don't know that that's like the way to do everything, but it is a lot more involved. Let's, so that's probably not something I can answer super easily. Um, what? Here. Sorry. I think that's it. I think that's it. All right, I'm leaving. Wait, is any of the rest of this... Um Cool, bad, better, good. Uh, Relic, do you like the way Obsidian is set up now with multiple teams working on different games or do I ever think about getting everyone together to make a way bigger game? Um, the thing is the, the way we worked with multiple teams doing different things, a lot of that was due to funding um, it's kind of still how we work now, whether that's good or bad. Um, nothing really prevents us at this point because we are, you know, owned by Microsoft. So the issue was we didn't want to, we never wanted to have all of our eggs in one basket on a project because so many, um, so many companies go out of business very quickly. Um, you know, they might last one project and then fade out before they get a second one out. So Fergus and uh, the other founders uh, really tried to focus on making sure, uh, first and foremost, that we had funding. Um, so we just celebrated our 20th anniversary, which is crazy. Uh, there aren't a whole lot of developers that stay around for 20 years. So, all right. I'm going to get another drink. I'll be back in a minute. Just a second.
Cheers, bro. Get out of the snow. Kuiperinia. Are there any chances for isometric RPGs from Sydney in a more distant future? I don't know. I did watch them. In Kashasa. Likelihood of being a guest on Tim's YouTube channel? Um, I don't think very high because, uh, you know, watching Tim's videos, he said that he doesn't want to turn it into uh, a guest show. He only had Leonard on there to kind of help make sure, like, check his memory, basically. Last game I actually finished was um, Storyteller. Argentine game. I thought it was pretty fun. I actually... I don't know if I finished it on stream, but I played it on stream. Software engineer starting a creative writing MFA. Any advice for getting into game dev? It's very broad. I, and I'm way out of practice. Like I haven't had to apply for a job and I'm, I've been at Obsidian for 18 years. Um, if I went for an internship, would I have any chance against the game dev majors? Yes. Um, just because someone majored in game development doesn't mean that their education was good, and it doesn't mean that they're good. To be honest. Like, don't get me wrong. They're great game dev programs, and they're very brilliant people that come out of them. So. The old ruins are clear. Your town should be safe now. Truly? Ha! Huh. By the light, you are heaven sent! Oh, I'm so sorry. We, we haven't any coin to offer. But we have hot stew, good company, and... Stay for a pint. Wash out the taste of the stew. <laughs> <laughs> We'd be honored if you'd join us. Our Check out my moves. Yeah, Steven Aratus. I uh, I don't even know how to play Sorcerer. I can't remember the last time I played a class like this in Diablo. Oh, no. Oh, no, bro, bro. Bro, no. Too much. I can't believe you've done this. Rude. Yes, I have, uh, I do have Kashasa for my Caparinas. Thank you, the Duke streams. I saw the weak made strong, a pack of lambs feasting on wolves, tears of blood rained on a desert jewel, and the way to hell was torn asunder. Oh, they're taking me to the uh, Diablo barn. Look, I'm not a carpenter, but I'm gonna say that I don't think those boards are the right size for that door. Poor craftsmanship. Uh, 
looks like a new crop of corpses is drying in the Diablo barn. <laughs> Grover Barn. It's been a long time since I played Diablo 1 or 2. By mother's blood, by mother's body, so uh, shall you witness her glory. Before you die. <laughs> Not ready yet. Yeah, Mace. Mace representation. They're coming. The whole damn village. Thank you, Yosef. Get up! We have to fight our way out. There! Take them! Please, the light preserve us. Lost souls! More dots. More dots. More dots. You guys, you're carrying a blue doublet hold on don't mind if I do <laughs> you are blessed like us now no, I'm not. That was all of them. Light willing. What's going on, Brosif? You're the. Ma I never went into the shed. Um, choice and consequence. I never went in the shed. Uh, Madman, those heretics drugged me after I returned from the ruins, just like you. I came to my wits and escaped. Tried Actually, TBQH. Actually, maybe I did. What manner of evil is this? So, one of my fraternity brothers, Andrew, is here. Talking about Eric Bressler, one of our brothers, playing Diablo 1 at a million decibels in the house. I'll, so I'll tell you the story after this lore is done. Okay, so story time. So when I was in college, Diablo came out and a bunch of us played Diablo. I thought it was fun. And I played through once as the warrior. It was warrior and wizard or was it warrior and sorcerer? I can't remember what the two, I can't remember. I played through it twice. And then I was like, all right, cool, I'm done. One of my fraternity brothers, um, Eric Bressler, kept playing it and kept playing it and kept playing it and kept playing it. And you'd play it very loud. <laughs> and you could hear it all over the second floor of the house. And then, hi, Paul. Welcome. I have not considered making a game about driving a car around the Pacific Northwest, but if you play Pacific Drive, you can see what that game would be like. Looks pretty cool to me. Anyway, Eric kept playing Diablo 1. And eventually I just lost. Now, keep in mind, I played Quake 1 a lot, but I was playing multiplayer. Competitive, like 
competitively, not like professionally, whatever. Anywho, I went over to Eric's room and I said, what are you doing? <laughs> I said, I'm playing Diablo. I said, why? He's like, well, I want to get better items. And I said, to do what? He's like, what do you mean? I'm like, you won. Game's done. You beat him. It's over. You don't got to do this anymore. <laughs> but that shows how little I care for the gear crawl in games. <laughs> because I was like, does not appeal to me at all. But he was super into getting the loot. And I was like, I don't care, man. I beat the game. <laughs> So anyway, <laughs> that was, that was very, and it was very loud. Like I, he was in about the middle. So I can't really describe this, but like the fraternity house had a long second floor and I was up here and he was like here and you could hear it real clearly all the way down the hall. <laughs> the soundtrack was good, but hearing the, like, Every item sound effect falling on the ground, crystal clear all over the second floor. He apparently had not heard of headphones. Didn't get it. <laughs> not my thing. Um, the item descriptions and pillars were uh, not the uniques. The uniques were mostly actually... Um, I'm sorry. I'm going to forget exactly. Robert Land and Liam Essler. They did the majority of the unique item descriptions. A few. I wrote a few of the unique items. Um, and also a, a few in Deadfire as well, but not that many. All right. Pacific Drive. Check it out. It does look cool. Hi, Specca. I did do all the unique item descriptions in Pillars 1, though. Oh, this is a... Can you make a virgin Kyperenia? This is a Kashasa non-virgin <laughs> Kyperenia. Chapel key. Ginger beer. Really? Ginger beer? I mean, I don't think cachaça tastes anything like ginger beer, <laughs> personally. Son of Duratan. Blazing new technology they invented to go above 30 FPS in AAA games. Not many non-competitive FPS games actually run at 60 consistently at 4K on consoles. So, if you think that is standard... I'm sorry, you are actually, factually, incorrect. I'm sorry that your trip here was in vain, because uh, that's just not true. So, I'm sorry for you. Games in general... We're going to go to the chapel. Hello, cigarette enjoyer. I think probably the most disingenuous thing about the Starfield should run at 60 chat <laughs> 
is that all of the examples in comparison are previous gen games that are running on new hardware, which is like so unbelievably ridiculous. <laughs> I get real. <laughs> hey man, this game that came out in 2012, in 2023 on a new generation of hardware, it runs at 60. What's up with that? That's so crazy. <laughs> I got Doom in the early 90s, and I try to play it now, and it runs at 3,000 FPS. Don't get me wrong, 60 is great. I think it's awesome, but like, there's a reason why a lot of games don't run at 60. Fire can cleanse the darkness in this place. All right, dude, if you say so. But hurry, I will prepare the torch. Like the ones I was fed. Is this real? Don't get it then. Don't get it. If it's so important that a game runs at 60, then don't get any game that runs at 30. Just don't get it. What else is there to talk about? <laughs> get over it or don't. Who cares? <laughs> Remember when DMC came out? Ninja Theory and it ran at 30 and everyone was like, damn, that's so crazy. Great, don't buy it. Just don't buy it. Very easy. This should really run at 60. So true. Don't buy it. Very easy. This game doesn't do the thing I want it to. Don't buy it. Shameful. Our father has granted you a path to salvation. <laughs> And yet, you stray from it at every opportunity. You drink and gamble. You covet and steal. Shameful. Oh, no. Is their birthright? <gasps> My children. The lords of hell are coming to devour our world. Salvation lies not in the light, but in you. The faith has taught you to deny your heart's desire Good and turned you okra. into a okra. prisoner within yourself. Break the chains and discover who you were meant to be. Break the chains and be beautiful in sin. You can go your own way, go your own way. Or, or we're referring to chains. We could sing chains. We could sing, go your own way. Not only is she a, a girl boss, one could argue she is in fact a slay queen. <laughs> Peasants, am I right? Leewood Mac specifically warned against this. 
No, it's in in kind of yeah. typical Diablo fashion. It's quasi Christianity. The first of many. Go to the. You're so <laughs> cool, girl on the internet. You're so drunk. Welcome. Same. Now, our true work begins. Oh no. Oh no. Not the priest. You came to thank the light. I just wish I just wish Diablo or Blizzard would deal with corruption as a theme for once. <laughs> it's a joke. <laughs> How did I get here? You collapsed inside. I thought the darkness had swallowed you. I dragged you here and put this cursed place to the torch. What happened to you in there? I saw... a vision. A horned demon. She said the lords of hell are coming. She wanted to help the people survive. This is not my beautiful church. <laughs> this is not my beautiful... This is not my beautiful Lilith. I welcomed her like, like a mother. Mother? No. This is my first playthrough of D4. I must report to the cathedral. Listen, there is a hermit to the northeast, a man of questionable loyalty, but he knows of the forbidden. He might be useful to us. Letting the demons go by. And you will be in the light's favor. Yeah, Fable characters always look pretty goofy, <laughs> if I recall correctly. Like, yeah, they're kind of goofy, right? Like I said before, I'm not like King King Fable. You finished your first century ride? Congratulations. Where did you ride? So, Mr. Hickman, I have not read Blood Meridian. I did read The Road, which I quite liked. I think I, sh I have Blood Meridian now that he has passed rip I feel like I should yeah fables kind of in the goof zone like right I mean that's Matt Berry I love Matt Berry he's so funny <laughs> I love I loved um I didn't watch that much of uh, what we do in shadows but I watched a ton of uh Toast of London which I thought was extremely extremely good. Don't think it looked goofy enough? Fair. It's it's goofy. Hi Moose Rage. So the thing is like one of the things I think is um important that I understand as an American who doesn't play Fable <laughs> is that Fable is very British. <laughs> and so I trust that Playground will make it appropriately British. I understand it's not really my thing. Not that I don't appreciate British humor, but uh, I don't know. When I saw the Fable trailer, like, yeah, there wasn't really gameplay there, but like, I don't know. The vibe felt, it felt like Fable to me. Salwe, Salwe Shoshre. Gratia. Um, I had family who were union members in the Midwest, right? Did it affect anything about how I made games? Um, uh, yeah, I mean, so my my maternal grandfather helped found the Machinist Union in Houston, Houstonsford, where he was a machinist. He was the president of the of the union there. Um, my grandmother, his wife, was the secretary of and the treasurer, I believe, of of the union. Um, I don't necessarily think that itself informed how I make games, but like, I was aware of it, so. 
If you're a Litzel, you can email me. Sorry. I don't know. I think my family is... It's, it's strange because I, I would say my family is liberal over... Well, at least my parents are liberal overall. Um, but I also grew up in the Midwest at a time when the UAW was, for better or worse, um, criticized a lot for what happened to the big three automakers. So there was not a super positive impression of unions. But my grandfather was in a union. My grandmother was in a union. And they had positive feelings and experiences from it. So, yeah, that's all I can say about that, I guess. What were you doing in Nevesk? Looking for the town priest. He stopped sending tithes, and I came to find out why. As I neared the village, I sensed darkness around the ruins. I went to investigate, found the priest's body. Dad is an anarcho capitalist. Foolish. Interesting. I took shelter in Nevesk and ate their food. You know the rest. No, I don't know the rest because how did you not? Oh, well, I guess you went crazy. Okay. Do not call her that. It is a demon, Lilith. The gospel says that she will walk among the people, posing as the mother of sanctuary. If she is here. Uh, it is humankind's own sin that has brought her. So, Kriti is not terribly familiar with that situation, but as I understand it, the union was blamed for the automakers moving manufacturing jobs out of the country. Um, yeah, so it's been a while since I've really paid attention to the UAW. Um, the, uh, yeah, UAW was pretty, like, they pretty much were the union for American auto workers. And it's kind of one of those things where the impression, anyway, is that people are people. <laughs> and so when people get power, they do bad things. Um, and so the UAW leveraged, basically leveraged to the point where... Um, the quality of work suffered and the competitiveness of American automobiles was uh, not there. So through the 80s and into the 90s, the American auto industry suffered and it was blamed on the UAW. Obviously, that's a very complex question, but that was generally the vibe. And there were a ton of... And then basically, the um, auto manufacturers started moving uh, manufacturing out of the country to places where they could pay people less, of course, but also not have to deal with unions. So that's how that went. And then as non-American companies like BMW started opening plants, for example, in Spartanburg or like Nissan, then the threat of UAW unionization arguably is what forced those manufacturers to push um, to push for better benefits and wages for their workers. Um, you were a machinist at GM, Deslock. That is crazy. <laughs> I've heard the atmosphere was not good. Yeah. Yeah, and Okara, I think the thing is German unions, I feel like the way they're structured is very different and the way that the government mediates disputes between corporations and unions is very different than in the United States. So, yeah. Yeah. He surrounds himself with dark knowledge. Tread carefully and pray he has not fallen to Lilith as well. It is very culturally, it's very different, Okara. What do we got over here? But it's, um, you know, I kind of, uh, I am very pro union, but I also understand that people are just human beings. Human beings are human beings. And so um, I don't think that unions are flawless, but I do think that if, um, if workers don't have leverage, they're gonna get exploited. So I would rather try to support unions and fight away 
to deal with abuses of power, then say unions should not exist. That's my take on it. Full pension, damn. Have I ever explained what happened to Big Yorg's eye? No, it's kind of implied more or less that most of the injuries that you see in Act 3 in Pentiment characters happens as a result of what happens at the end of Act 2. No worries. Oh boy. Altar of Lilith Finder. <laughs> Shimano versus Sram. So SRAM, okay, this is an important topic. So the question is Shimano versus SRAM. Shimano and SRAM are bi bicycle component manufacturers. Shimano legendary, I would say. SRAM is compatible with Shimano for the most part. Here is my feeling. Shimano makes good components. They're pretty ugly. SRAM's components are so unbelievably fucking ugly that they make Shimano components look like mid eighties Campagnolo. So I don't really like SRAM. I don't like Shimano either. I don't even like Campagnolo anymore. I'm a hater. I like old bike parts or bike parts made by niche manufacturers in Taiwan or the US. Modern bike components look like dog shit. They're so fucking bad. It's unreal. Anyway, I had a bike with a SRAM group set and it worked pretty well, except that I think that double tap shifting feels like you're breaking the bike every time you shift, which I don't think is a good feeling for a bicycle. Thank you. By the way, um, you know who else has really good opinions on bicycle components is Ultra Romance. Ronnie Ron Romance, Benedict. Uh, he also thinks SRAM is fucking garbage. Electric bikes are very important and good. Um, electric bikes are important and good. I do worry about young people, meaning like teens and sub-teens, on 250 watt or whatever, like basically the really fast electric bikes. I'm concerned about that. Uh, they go really fast and they often are not wearing protective gear or they're not paying attention. I have a lot of fear for them. Um, yeah, there's a lot of deaths from electric bikes. They go really fast. But I know a number of people who if they couldn't have an electric bike, they wouldn't ride a bike because they have various physical limitations. That can be obesity. That can be nerve damage. That can be limited lung capacity, breathing issues. So I think that electric bikes are good. I like that they exist. I'm a little, uh, but yeah, I'm a little worried about long-term. How to remove the speed limiter. Come on, man. They go really fast. This is the Caipirinha police from Brazil. We are here for a check. It has to be only rough sugar. It is. It is rough sugar. A good cachaça spirit. It's, hold on. I'm going to pronounce it wrong. Hold on. Hold on. This is very stupid.
Is it Nova Fogo? Is that how to pronounce it? But that's what I got. Um, half a green lime. I used a full lime and the lime was like, it wasn't a big lime though. You ride an old fashioned bike. That's good. This is my phone case. Hold on. Yeah, Barrier, like, e-bikes are, are good. The funniest movie I've seen ever? I don't know. The first one that popped into my mind is Super Troopers, though. It's very good. Thank you, Jaxall. It's the uh, almond, almond Blossoms. Boulder Ridge, where am I? Goats, goats mentioned. Whoa, 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 whoa. I don't want to go on. I'm nervous. Sellers have a range of content. Bikes are really good. Bicycles are really good. Just regular ass bicycles are very good. If you have an e-bike, it's even better. And I kind of feel like if you, the speed limiter thing, just accept it, I think. Like, just chill out. They're like, they're scooter. I mean, they're like scooter speed. It's crazy. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. No, 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 no. Killers of the Flower Moon, baby. What the fuck? I'm going to fuck these dudes up. Who is doing the ice thing? I'm mad. Uh, my feeling on climate change is that it's bad. <laughs> no worries. This it? Did I do it? Did I kill the Iceman? You are the Iceman. Did I pick up gear I didn't see? What am I doing? Um. All right. I don't have anything there. <laughs> Uh, you learned why you can't find chartreuse anywhere. What's up with those monks? I guess they want to pray. I don't know. Open source the chartreuse then. I kind of feel like if you're going to say, hey, we're not going to make it anymore. Just let other people do it. Information wants to be free. <laughs> like fucking... It's bad. Best thing at Culver's? Deep fried cheese curds, baby. Not even close. What the? With any historian on a game? Hold on just a second. There's... Whoa, 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 whoa. Way too many archers here. Why don't you calm the fuck down? Um, any historian, Richard Kiekeffer would be good. I mean, I got to work with my advisor from college, Ed Kern. That was great. Um, Christopher DeHamel, also great. But yeah, or Natalie, Natalie Zeman Davis, another classic. But Richard Kiekeffer, Richard Kiekeffer is kind of like the guy. 
when it comes to um, magic in the Middle Ages. Like, I read a lot of Richard Kiefer in college, and then I still, like, for research for this game, I still read it. He wrote uh, Necromancers, the, the Necro... What is it called? It's about the Munich Necromancers Manual. He wrote it for the Magic and History series. Classic guy. But, yeah, either him, Natalie Zeman Davis, um, Joel F. Harrington, who wrote um, The Faithful Executioner, which is a really good book. Forbidden Rights, thank you. Um, Ginsburg is gone. Rip. Echo is gone. Rip. Rip to the real ones. Okay. Um, what? What's my mana? Where is this my mana using things? Okay, here we go. The Magic in the Middle Ages series is... There are so many books. They're so good. Each one is interesting in its own way. Magic in the Middle Ages. Uh, Claire Pagel, I think, who wrote a really interesting book on the origins of Satan. I think she also... Wait, no, I'm, I'm misremembering. Magic in the Cloister. That's not Pagel's. That's not Elaine Pagel's. That's somebody else. Magic in the Cloister. Bathhouse at Midnight. Um, unlocked Books. That's about Central European magic. That's really interesting. There are a lot of really good ones in there. Ars Notaria, baby. Lesser Key of Solomon. Beep, 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 beep. All right, folks. What are we, what are we, what are we doing here? I need a core skill. Can you read those tool tips? <laughs> Incinerate. Oh yeah, Faithful Executioner is incredible. Ice magic, because crowd control. Frozen orb, ice shards. I'm going to go with ice shards. All right, but how do I use ice shards now? How do I do it? Okay. Whoop. Hold on. Has to open the menu. Wait, 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 wait. I just learned. Wait, wait, wait. What are you doing? What just happened? Oh, okay. Oh, I see. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> All right. All right. Two Kuiperinis in. Give me that slot. Give me that slot. Wow. I have two builders, which the game thinks is a bad idea. Okay, hold on. How do I, how do I, how do I refund this then? Or can I, is it too late? Is it too late? Folks, have I gone down a false path? Right click on the skill. Oh, okay, cool. Thank you. 
<laughs> Love to respec. Calm down. Farewell, Cloppage. Am I a Brewers fan? Who is, other than people from Milwaukee, who is actually a Brewers fan? <laughs> it's rough. If you're from Wisconsin, you basically are required to like the Packers. But then you have two other sports teams, non-collegiate sports teams, and it's kind of, they're not, um, it's a little rough being a fan of the Bucks or the Brewers. Although the Bucks recently, you know, they've surprised us. You know what? I've never played Grim Fandango. Yeah, the Bucks, the Bucks turned it around. Uh, but that was a rough 30 years or so. It's like, it's like the Cubs, man. <laughs> it's not quite that bad, but it wasn't good. Especially when, you, again, you got the Packers. Like, you can always just kind of be like, yay, Packers. Like, even when they're not doing that well, they're still doing, like, pretty well. First seed to get knocked out in the first round. Rip. Oh, what's up, dude? What the hell? Once again, out of mana. I didn't play Path of Exile. I would say that this is maybe the only game of this type that I ever play. I don't really play many RTSs. I play the Age of Empires series and that's about it, to be honest. You know what, though? Here's the thing with naming. Strider's crown. Strong. Powerful. Evocative. Powerful helm. I played a little Warcraft 3. I played WoW. Awesome item. Great value, great value, powerful helm. <laughs> gamers greetings. Happy Gamers Day. First Diablo you've liked since the first? I liked three until I got to the higher difficulty levels and then I've already talked to death about why I didn't like the itemization and how it interacted with stats in that game. Um, ooh, oh shit. What is this, R-Type? Oh my god. What the fuck? Holy shit. That was nuts. I'm just shooting things for the fun of it. Can't even handle me right now. I lack the needed mana. Yeah. That was fun. Well, that was fun. That w Oh, Strider's Crown. We are so back. Mm. 
Wait, did I go up here? Oh, yeah. Goats. Somebody better let this goat back in. The goats are too cold to be outside. Somebody bring them in. Hi, Furcan. I've never played... Never played a Civ game. Whoa, 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 whoa! Calm down! Rawhide! Eat it! The sanctuary, the people of sanctuary eat pain and sadness. They eat corruption, which is ever present in the Diablo world. Sim racing games. I played the original Forza and I played a few of the Dirt series. I'm low on precious money. I'm low on precious mana, the most precious, precious. You know what? One of my favorite things in games are a thing that is like an egg carrier and then you kill it and then a bunch of like baby things pop out. Ooh, that's what I like to see. One of my favorite things to make in Icewind Dale 2 was the Cradle Drider. Because it was basically just carrying a bunch of baby spiders. <laughs> Whoa! Calm down! Get out of here! I lack the needed mana. I lack the needed mana. Would there be a market for an Aora Icewind Dale style game? I don't know. I mean, the Icewind Dale games didn't sell as well as BG, but they also cost less to develop. But uh, the Pillars games don't sell anywhere near as well as the Owlcat or um, Larian games. So I don't know, man. Seems questionable. On Twitter last night, I was talking about balance with shotguns and snipers. What game pissed you off and caused... It's not me. Like, I don't play competitive FPSs that much anymore. Um, but it's a it's a common thing. And it's very weird. It's very, very weird and cope to see players say, like, uh, everyone actually loves that sniper rifles can kill everyone at every range and one-shot everyone, including other players that are using other weapons. Like, no, they don't. Like, this is a very common topic. Especially for competitive FPSs. Hold on. Yeah. 
But yeah, it's a common issue. Um, yeah. Like, there are other ways to... There are other ways to balance that stuff, but, like, most of them don't actually do the job. Like, people say, like, oh, it should just be handling. You should just use handling to deal with it. It's like, okay, um... <laughs> There are a lot of games that try to do that, and it doesn't stop them from doing the thing that people still complain about. Sweet. Pisa Role. Someday I long to be the person that people hate for making that change. <laughs> there... Well, there was a video I watched that said like it was it actually took some it was like until um it took a while for sniper rifles to actually come into FPSs. For quite a while sniper rifles weren't even there. Um there were all sorts of other firearms, but sniper rifles weren't in the mix. Right, all right. Yeah, scopes were one of the limiting factors for that sort of mechanic. What am I doing here? Uh, it wasn't Ahoy. It was someone with a name similar to that, though. going on here I mean it changes immensely if sniper rifles don't one shot if sniper rifles don't one shot it's a completely different sort of story cool no okay I love herbs. I love herbs. Nice, nice uh, Skyrim reference. Didn't play Solasta. Herb cells. Roads blocked. Should clear up when the storm has passed. Look at these deer. Give me these bite berries. Hermetic Alchemist, that is good. <laughs> I'm going to guess it's probably not used in a strictly <laughs> uh, historical block. context. Should clear up when the storm has passed. Uh, but that's not really the issue, Dandolf. The issue really was that people don't Road like it, block. and understandably, that sniper Should rifles are the, the best weapon at close range <laughs> and also the best weapon at long range. I think people expect that sniper rifles are the best at long range, but when they're used to push or used defensively against people that have like shotguns and SMGs, it is understandably frustrating. Let me finish exploring this zone. Probably gonna go in that hut and then this whole zone will become a. Uh... Yeah, Monster Hunter. People had mentioned Monster Hunter and Battlefield 1. And I guess if you have a live service game, you can complain about people that get yeah. loud. Um, I don't have to worry about that though, so I don't care. I think it's really great when super uh, loud players just yell a lot. I'm like, okay, that's cool. I don't care. Hmm. Plus four all stats versus plus seven strength. Well, I'm still going to take the more armor. Okay. 
I love containers. Y'all got any answers? Y'all got any secret doors? Holy shit. What the fuck? Short fangs. Young. Freshly turned. An easy kill. Further south than the others. Is that... Ralph Innocen, I hear. One of the finest voice actors of our time, and just actor in general. The Vich. Y'all got any strange specimens? the story I wish it wasn't true but it is weren't do you mean weren't why did I have that vision maybe instead of spell books those you should study religions. grammar they gave you the blood of Lilith delicious blood demon not just any demon the daughter of hatred the mother of sanctuary she was banished ages ago. But this world is her creation. <sighs> Much to think on. It was prophesied she would come back. What does she want? That's the question. Sanctuary has always been trapped amid the eternal conflict. A war between angels and demons. But Lilith serves neither side. She has her own plans for us. And me? Am I corrupted? Not sure yet. But you two share a connection. What will you do about it? Use it. Find out. Esoterica mentioned. Everyone check out Good. Dr. Justin Sledge's Boys channel, together. Esoterica, on YouTube. <laughs> Rest while you can. This is the father from the Vavitch. Then we'll start in Kiovashad. If we can't stop Lilith, we'll all be damned. Oh yeah, and the Green Knight from the Green Knight. He's really good. Also, he was one of the, uh, what you call it, the, um, Greyjoys. He was one of the Greyjoys in, um, Game of Thrones. I agree, son of Duratan. Ironborn, right? Yeah, I'm sorry, he's not... You're right, he's not a Greyjoy. Technically. All right, I'm going to take a brief break. And I'll come back like five minutes or so.
We are so back. It's uh, mojito time. Too much room. Is there Mithraic revivalism? Why not? I mean, Persian salty milk drink. I don't think I have. Thank you, Chill Distario ninety nine. I have had various like Middle Eastern yogurty milk drinks that are salty. Some I like and some I really don't. Hey fucker. Cold, ice cold with some mint leaves. Sounds delish. Oh, my foot hurts, I gotta tell you. Folks, having foot problems. I don't like it. I've not hit Eric. I think I have something called, I know this will sound like a joke, sesamoiditis. There are these uh, little bones under the tendon of your big toe that go under the ball of your foot. And they are inflamed. I think it's because I did a bunch of biking and then I did a bunch of walking in kind of uncomfortable Shoes. Your nephew has a gout. I'm sorry. It's uh, the thing that's really annoying about it is that it's painful even when I'm not doing anything. So I'm just sitting here and it hurts. I don't like it. I really wanted to ride my bike, but it's really bothering me this morning. And yeah, I stopped wearing the fancy shoes. They're really nice shoes, but I think they're just not, they're not a good fit for me. What's up with all these monsters? What's up, boys? Yeah, I rode um or I walked all over Berlin. So I went to I went to Ireland, I walked all over Dublin and Galway in those shoes. I went to London, I walked over London in those shoes. I went to Berlin, walked over Berlin in those shoes, and uh I think they fucked my feet up. I like walking. I just can't walk in those shoes. <laughs> Vessies? No idea. Favorite recent album? Hold on. Let me open the old Spotify. I remember when I tried the shoes on, the guy was like, they should be a little big. 
All right, but I think this is more than a little. Calm down. The Night of Berlin. You know, I haven't listened to it a lot, but the new Myophallic album, Roach, I've listened to a couple times. It's pretty good. I think that's probably of recent, recent stuff. You know, and the thing is, I'm sure I would really love the new Carolyn Polachek album, but I haven't listened to it, unfortunately. May Light of Faith and Arius do... Farewell, Salty of Sweden. Thank you, Gurgen. You know what? I couldn't, um, I was not the biggest super duper fan of the Boy Genius album. There were a few tracks, I really loved $20. I liked a few other tracks on it, but I was not like head over heels about it. Love all of them. The album was not like overwhelming to me. Emily, I'm sorry, is good. Oh, actually the Feist, the new Feist album was quite good. God, well, I can't remember what it's called. I guess I should do the thing that the guy wants me to do. What are all you losers doing? My favorite band in the 90s was Morphine. Love morphine. Rest in peace, Mark Sandman. Got to shake his hand once at Horde Fest in 1997. Crazy. Greedy Castlevania games. I liked Lament of, uh, was it Lament of Innocence? You know, I, I understood why people, they didn't quite have the feel of the 2D ones. Um, but to be honest, I liked them. I liked, was it, was it Lament of Innocence? There was another one I did, I dug from the, I want to say it was like the PS2 era. It's rough because the 2D Castlevanias are so good and sharp. Most overrated cocktail, aviation. Get the fuck out of here, dude. It looks pretty and it is not good. Get real. Medeski, Martin, and Wood. I feel like I have a morphine poster where they maybe played a tr like a, a double show with them or something. Thanks, Carrie Noir. Hope you're having a good weekend as well.
What? I'm joining an event? There's an event going on? I don't understand how this game works. Out of mana once again. Am I going the right way? Where did they go? Oh, it's in it's in the circle. Some of the times I click to move, it's not um Oh, there's oh, so I already did it. Oh. What? Okay, now I see. Hold up. Whoa, this is getting out of control, dude. Um, dude, there's too many. I got too much shit on me. Oh my God, it's too much shit. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh my god, dude! I can't! More dots! I'm, there's too many Diablos. God damn it. I think I lost. Well, rip. Oh, gee whiz. Dude. Okay. Well, geez. There, there were a lot of Diablos. Um. Am I going to see Oppenheimer or Barbie? I'm going to wait for Oppenheimer because um, Christopher Nolan is committed to his lifelong desire to mix the audio in his movies so that you can't fucking hear what anyone is saying, which I believe is a valid choice to which I will say no thank you over that shit. You can do whatever you want. Don't, me ex don't expect me to see your fucking movie. <laughs> I want to hear what people are saying. Like, I'll watch it at home where I can, like, mix the... Like, I can do something. I can turn on subtitles, hopefully. Not watching it in the theater. No way. Rick Rubin mixing in a scene that's people talking back and forth. 
I didn't see Interstellar in the theater, but I also don't remember it having a having that problem. Thank you, Saduja. Or Saduya. A lot of people like subtitles. Part of it is that um, everything's just mixed weird now. Like, there are so many audio setups that everything is mixed oddly, but the thing is, even in the appropriate, proper IMAX, like whatever theatrical setup, Nolan's movies, you still can't fucking hear anything. Yeah, there's such a wide variety. Hold on. Good. Mm, sure. Sh sure. No. Can't hear shit. Can't see shit. Game of the year. Movie of the year. Man. Eat shit, dude. So here's the thing. Dude. All right, so here's the thing. I've been watching newer movies recently. They're so fucking dark. It is unreal. It's so fucking dark. It's crazy. I wanted to watch um, Pale Blue Eye. The one that was with um, Christian Bale and then I can't remember the other actor's name playing Poe. And it was interesting. But it was so fucking dark. You could not see a goddamn thing. Everything was super heavily color graded. And it was just like every interior scene was unbelievably dark. And it's crazy because in the film era, lots of filmmakers figured out how to film dark scenes where you could see shit. <laughs> like, watch Sleepy Hollow. Like, go watch Sleepy Hollow. It is clearly dark, but, like, you can see everything. It's nuts. And they still do color grading in the exterior scenes, but it's not so, like, overwhelmingly oppressive. Dude, it's unreal. I can't... Like, everything is mixed for shit. And everything is dark as hell, and I hate it. Rivet Remiel, been a while for me, but greetings from Door County. Enjoying a fish ball and a craft brew on the lake in my honor. I haven't eaten fish in a long time, but thank you. I, in fact, supervised fish boils in Bailey's Harbor at Bjorklinden, which was my university's resort. Nope, felt pretty good in the dark scenes. Could that be... Because Jordan Peele is good? Could it be that Jordan Peele, an exceptional filmmaker, chose to do the thing that didn't make the film look fucking awful? Because he is very good at making movies. <laughs> One weird trick. Film and open the daytime and edit it. Classic Sergio Leone technique. Everything's blue. I mean, another thing too is more filmmakers are being attentive to filming actors with very dark skin. <laughs> and I'm sure Jordan Peele was like, perhaps I would like people to see my black cast members. <laughs> Something that a lot of filmmakers don't do very well. I'm eating peanuts, I apologize. I apologize, and yet I'm not going to stop. I don't eat, I don't eat any meat. I haven't eaten meat for 19 years. Ants. 
Pants, 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 pants. I love vigorous pants. Look at my boy. I think uh, Get Out is still my favorite. I like in I I liked us and I like Nope. I wasn't crazy about him, but Get Out I think is just like good. I don't watch that much horror, to be honest. I like thrillers more than horror. I don't really like the conventions of, of horror, jump scares and things like that. The angel in Arius. I'm sure you've heard the Cathedral of Light babbling about their holy father. Well, he's real. An angel walks among us. And when he learns that Lilith is here, blood will flow. They are ancient enemies. Yeah. They'll drag the whole damn world into their feud, unless we can stop it. That's not linger. Keovic I still haven't seen Hereditary, but I did see um, Midsummer, and I really liked Midsummer. I've already seen Hawk the Slayer. I haven't seen X or Pearl. Loved the lighthouse. After casting a non-basic skill. Hmm. The Green Knight, I liked the Green Knight. But the Green Knight didn't really stay with me. Which, I don't know if that's, like, ridiculous to say. But, like, I enjoyed it, but I wasn't. Like, I recently saw First Reformed, and I was thinking about it. I'm still thinking about it. <laughs> I don't have AOE or shield. Maybe I should get an AOE like fireball. Wait a minute. Shouldn't I get another slot now? Final, I mean the, I think first reformed overall is just like Really good. Thank you, thank you, Raguchi25. Do I not have seven skill points? One, two, three. <laughs> Favorite Herzog film. I still need to watch Card Counter. Um, hold on, let's look up Werner. Gary, what? <laughs> I've been drinking too much, I can't read this. Hold on. Um, I 
I'm going to say... For Verner, either Aguirre or Bad Lieutenant, part of New Orleans, part of or what is it, part of Call in New Orleans. I think Aguirre. Although um, Fitzcarraldo is also fucking crazy. Favorite David Lynch. I want to say maybe Wild at Heart or Blue Velvet. But I don't think there's a David Lynch movie that I dislike, honestly. That's okay, Scrub Soda 2. I knew that players would take them out. I didn't direct that game. <laughs> I just I just designed the weapons and stuff. I started watching Inland Empire and got distracted. I need to go back. I did see Werner Herzog eats a shoe. Um, Les Blank. I love Les Blank. I love, um, especially Garlic is as good as Ten Mothers and Gap Toothed Women are both very good. Enter the city. You must we have no time for this. Nice. Oh. To enter Kiyobashad, you must perform a cleansing ritual. It's a meaningless gesture, but some people take comfort in it. How dare you? Just let him through, lad. I've tried for years to get Lorath to do the ritual. Fine. But this one stays. I'll meet you inside. Um, the holy cedar wood from the shrine and inscribe it with the sin which troubles you. Then cast it into the brazier. As the fire burns the wood, so too will the light burn away your sin. Favorite David Cronenberg. <clears throat> Favorite David Cronenberg. All right, I need to look. A lot of good ones. I still haven't seen Crimes of the Future. Hold up. Hold up. Uh, you know what? Unpopular answer, but it's Dead Zone, which is also my favorite Stephen King adaptation which I talked about, <coughs> excuse me. I talked about, <coughs> gee whiz. <coughs> um, um, I talked about um, Dead Zone on the King cast. I can't remember what episode number, but if you look up the King cast, Josh Sawyer. Um, Thank you, Trollivier. But yeah, Dead Zone is my favorite King adaptation, and I think it's my favorite Cronenberg. Other ones I really like, though. Scanners, Videodrome, The Fly, uh, Dead Ringers. I don't remember Naked Launch very well, to be honest. I haven't seen Crash since it came out. I need to go back and watch it. Existence, great. History of Violence, fantastic. Eastern Promises, also fantastic. What a filmography. I feel like David Cronenberg, very rare to miss. Like his films are always at least good. Even if they're bad, they're good in some way. This has got to be my last drink of the day. 
by far Canada's best director. I'm trying to think of other... Well, I mean, he's up against James Cameron, right? I mean, not that I am the biggest James Cameron fan, but he does have some real winners. Sorry, 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 sorry. I've not seen Shivers. Yeah, I'm not a big Avatar guy, but like Aliens? Aliens, though? True Lies, though? There are some good Canadian directors. Also, isn't Denis Villeneuve? Uh, why did I think he was French? T2, of course. Is he Quebecois? I thought he was just French. French Canadian, all right. Okay. He's QC. He's QC. I I like Dune. The visuals, I gotta say, was a, were a little like they weren't bad, but I love the visuals of Lynch's Dune a lot. There were some really, there were some great costume choices in Denis Villeneuve's uh, Dune, and there were some ones that I thought were just pretty okay. Um, I did like the focus, the greater focus on the relationship between Paul and Jessica. I thought that was very cool. So yeah, I didn't dislike his Dune, but I had such a soft spot for Lynch's Dune. I like Blade Runner 2049 more, to be honest. I know David Lynch hates his Dune movie, or I don't even know if he hates his Dune movie as much as he has very um, m strong and mixed feelings about it. That's okay that he doesn't like it. It's okay. Whether a direct, like, there, okay, so for example, <laughs> so for example, um, uh, Nicholas Winding Refn thinks that Only God Forgives is like a masterpiece, which I've, I've posted that Friedkin clip a number of times with William Friedkin making fun of him. And it's okay that he thinks it's a masterpiece. I actually like Only God Forgives. I think Neon Demon is very bad on many levels. I think Drive is very good. I think Valhalla Rising is amazing. I think Valhalla Rising is an incredible... I think Valhalla Rising is maybe his best movie. And so, like, what the director themselves thinks of it, I don't give a shit. <laughs> like, David Lynch cannot like Dune, and I can like it. Uh, I guess Wondering Refn can think that Only God Forgives is a masterpiece, and I can think it's good. And you can think Neon Demon is great, and I can think it's bad. Like, actually bad. That's okay. It's okay. <laughs> also, Lars von Trier definitely... Well, I think Lars von Trier has simmered down. You know, I haven't seen the Pusher movies, unfortunately. A man that old has lived through some dark days. Thank you, Dustlock. why he's so cross. You know what, though? The thing is, as, as you know, whatever Lars von Trier, <laughs> like, Melancholia, I maintain, is an incredible movie. It's, it's very good. And Dancer in the Dark, despite all the bullshit with um, Bjork, still a great movie. Maybe in spite of him. So. Who directed Beyond the Pines? I couldn't get through Beyond the Pines. 
I started watching it. I love the Gazer. Love Ryan Gosling. Hmm. House of Jack built. Yeah, I've heard that's good. I've heard that's good. Solo. You know, I haven't. That's um, Pasolini, right? I still haven't seen Solo. I will reference Solo because I know it's fucked up. <laughs> I watched. Um, I watched Pasolini's. Um, to Cameron, which was entertaining. Um, Von Trier had more than just one bad press conference. <laughs> he also was apparently quite shitty towards Bjork during the filming of uh, Dancer in the Dark. I'm going to put anger in. Anger. The Gia yeah, Giallo films. Good shit. I can't say I'm like very well versed, but I've liked what I've seen. It is done. Good. You must feel as though a great weight has been lifted from you. Welcome to Kyovashad. Not really, TBQH. I won immortality. I or I beat I beat immortality. I played some of it on. Wait, did I play it on stream? I I I beat immortality. I picked anger. I beat the immortality. You know what else I saw, which is interesting? I saw um, during his um, Dogma 95 phase, I watched um, Italian for Beginners. Was that Lars von Trier? Hold on. Frame rate's going to go down. Don't at me. I'm sorry, I've been informed that was not Lars von Trier. Never mind. The Idiots? I never watched uh, Europa. Yeah, I watched that a while back. Festin, no. So there's not a lot of gaming going on here. As little, I'm off to the dry steps in search of that pale man from your vision. I must know. Peter Greenway. I think the, the only Peter Greenway stuff I've seen is uh, dra the Draftsman's. A merchant in the what is it called? The Draftsman's. Fuck. Contract. Draftsman contract. Which I thought was very interesting. Sacrificing someone in demons. I haven't seen a lot of Iranian cinema. I should though. You know, it feels like it, it actually kind of is cheating because I've seen a girl walks home alone at night, which was made with a lot of Iranian and Iranian American actors, but was actually filmed in LA. But I love a girl walks home alone at night. The cathedral loves to go on about it. His imprisonment in hell is... I've heard a separation is extremely good. ...return here, the world he created. But they never mention how being tortured in hell for a few millennia turned you into an ass. Bonsoir. Silver. Also Persepolis. Was Persepolis an Iranian production? 
I mean, I know that the the book itself was essentially the graphic novel. What was the film? There was a prophecy, yes. It foretold the rise of the prime evils, the return of Lilith and Inari. Bonsoir ou bonne nuit. Bonne nuit. Inarius adopted the prophecy for his own selfish purpose. Put it in the Cathedral of Light's gospel and made it seem like he would be the hero to save us. Cringe. Bonne nuit. Merci. All right. I'm going to get some more peanuts. No more. I'm going to get some water and some peanuts. I'll be right back. Oops. Hello. I also want to watch The Favorite again. I saw it in the theater when it came out, but not since. Very good, though. Delete my stream videos from Twitch? I don't. I mean, if they automatically expire, that's one thing. I don't think I have um, deleted any. Does The Favorite have Barry Lyndon vibes? Um, I wouldn't say so other than, I mean, the characters all suck. <laughs> like the main characters are all shitty. In that sense, it's like Barry Lyndon. Can I turn off expire? I, sure, I'll look into it. Damn, dude. Spilling, spilling water. Tattoos, sway back, cloudy eyes. This poor thing is practically crow bait. With what you're paying. Need something for it? Salvage all junk. Oh. Sweet. That's probably not a good thing to do, but I did it. Ooh. 
The little pickaxes mean it's a cosmetic you'll unlock from salvage. Oh, okay, interesting. Upgrade materials, sweet. All right, I spilled water on my shirt. I hate to do this, but I'll be right back. Sorry. You're so back. How do I craft things? Would I change anything significant about Pentiment? Nope. Very happy with how it came out. Find somewhere else to get warm. I was here first. All right. She was. Elixirs brewed to order. First I mine, and then I craft. Are you for real? All right. Thank you. Hopefully, hopefully, we, um, so we, we, we listened to the test pressings, and they were very good. Um, so hopefully it'll be any day that they're actually done. The uh, vinyl, I mean, for the soundtrack. The new militia recruits have been training night and day. They deserve a little praise, but I can't let them see me as soft. Mind giving them a cheer for me? Easy coin for you, a boost of confidence for the recruits. <coughs> I get to go on being the hard ass. <coughs> Everybody wins. I will handle it. <coughs> Man. Um. The vinyl deal was just, we talked to Memphis. I didn't really work it out. It was, um, I think it was Sam Chin kind of worked on a lot of it. And then we had, a, we thought we wanted to do a soundtrack for a long time, like pretty early on the project. And the art we got going very early. We still don't have the actual original piece because it's drying, but Benjamin Veerling did the cover art. Um, yeah. All right, how do I talk to the uh, guards? Hey, 
laid before you is the bounty of history. What? What is this? No, thank you. How do I talk to the guards? There is a guard. How do I talk to him? How do I talk to the guards? By the way, I have to emote in the blue circle. Press E and cheer. Okay. Oh, scroll for more. Sorry, 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 sorry. Thanks. Cheer. Well okay. Done. Is that it? Service. I hope they don't get used to it. You are courting pain and death. All right. Sorry. Aid would be welcome. Come with me. I appreciate that. Sweet. Middle of the day, dude. You need glasses, not a lantern. You need a lantern to watch modern movies. <laughs> so true.
Oh, I see. This is so I can vibe. Could I be convinced to play Yakuza 0? Maybe. Show off my sick tats. Where is my familiar sesame? I think she's in the window. TBQH. Need a lantern and hearing aids for tenant. True. Cool. The Fallout 4 New Vegas mod looks very cool. Um, I don't know what their timeline is. But it looks very good. That and Project Mojave, I believe. Both look quite good. Is it common for devout folk to drink so enthusiastically? <laughs> I guess I can't blame them. Settle down. How does crafting work in this? I have no idea. My vendors, okay. Modify gear, not create new things. Okay. Click material. Okay. Take a chance, wanderer. I don't read much uh, sci-fi or fantasy, sorry, Orphan of Cthulhu. Potions and glyphs and better gems. All right. Ah, so the old man's finally decided to buy it back. Knowing him, he didn't mention coin, did he? said he didn't need it anymore, but I think he'd want it back all the same. No charge. Okay.
Bro, I love train amulets. Apologies. He also gave me this amulet. What is it? The mark of the Haradrim. An ancient order of scholars and mages, sworn to protect sanctuary from demons. These days, we are few in number. There is another Haradrim. Donan. His breadth of knowledge about demons is equal only to his hubris. We love hubris. Sounds like he could help us. Hmm. You should seek him out in Skosglan. But don't forget about the cathedral. They'll be expecting you, and they might prove to be useful allies too. You're not coming with me. I'm going to the dry steps to find out who that pale man is. Join me when you can, just be careful. Your ties to Lilith. Always. The visions you see. You are the key to finding her and stopping whatever she has planned. Sometimes our paths Ralph are and set to the We just don't know it. Whether it is by accident or fate's hand, there is nothing we can do about it. The wanderer lost in the storm fed the blood of Lilith, saved by a lone monk. Different lives and incidents drawn together. By what? Destiny? Or some greater power pulling the strings? I did not know. But at the time, I thought I had the chance to protect humanity from the Daughter of Hatred. The Wanderer's connection to her gave me hope. <laughs> Imagine that. <laughs> Feel like I'm making up movies? You know, I had a roommate a few years ago who she had lived with me for like six months and she came in and she said, you know what? One thing I can count on is every time I come home, when you're watching a movie, I've never heard of it. <laughs> Ralph Innocent, you know? Hmm. Pass. I'm good. I am buying shit. Harris, Texas, great film. has yet to return from delivering our tithing demands to Menistad. Perhaps you could sweep the roads and see what's taking him so long. The cathedral must receive its dues. If you hated one dollar horse armor in Oblivion, get ready. <laughs> Hello, Sotorus. Yeah, more like macro transactions, do you is.
the ones who played for Winrar. <laughs> Calm down. Winzip. By the way, Soul never stopped telling the story. Um, let me see if I can remember it exactly. The guy who invented PK Zip. I want to say his name is Philip Katz. He's from Milwaukee. He was involved in legal battles over PK Zip, if I recall correctly, for a while. Got very bitter. He drank himself to death. He was found dead in his home with a bottle of empty bottle of peppermint schnapps in his hand, which is very fucked up. But is an extremely Wisconsin way to die. Maybe the most. It's extremely Milwaukee choice of death. It's crazy. But yeah, PK Zip. Guy who invented it. Very sad. Seven zip. Where are all my seven zip heads at? Oh shit. Oh fuck. Fill up K zip. Red letter media. Holy shit. Oh my fucking god. Oh, I'm low on precious mana. Oh my god, I'm low on precious mana once again. Once again, boys. Folks, precious mana. What a delight. Y'all got tethered, motherfuckers. Eat shit. Die. Mirror this. Yellow. Oh boy. How do I think that monetization strategies that don't directly relate to game gameplay, for example, cosmetics affects game development, the industry in general? Hard to say. I don't like I don't really dig I've cosmetic waited. stuff like that but I don't know I don't like them personally but um, they're not the worst things in the world I guess I gotta get fireball online here hold up Cool. Hi, Theo the Zombie. All 
All right, let's see. Oh, that's not what I wanted! I blew it. Poor Benatar. Probably wrap up pretty soon, like about 10 minutes or so. Will you help me, stranger? Oh, no. Precious mana. Sorry, I'm a little distracted by murderers right now. Did I do it? Yeah, I was gonna say human enemy is quite unusual. Did I? I won. The, did I win the challenge? If Oprah Winfrey told me to port a game to Mac, I've 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 made games that are on Mac. I believe you can play Icewind Dale on Mac. You can also play um, Pillars of Eternity and Deadfire, I think, on Mac. At least Pillars of Eternity. I did use dodge a little. Whoops.
There was a pillar. Pillars one was on Linux. Mac. I've never developed for Mac. I've just had games that went onto the Mac. Whoops. I lack the needed mana. Damn it. <laughs> Thank you, GM Kaju, Caillou. Get my potions. God damn it. Farewell, Socrates. Targets? I have not seen targets. Whoa! Whoa! I don't like that. Very spooky. I play Leon Spod. No worries, Playlian. Thank you. Yeah, I've watched, I haven't watched all of Tim's videos, but I've watched a bunch of them. Very good. Whoa, what's up, chugs? I'm getting a lot of chugging, very weird. I'm getting some really weird um, chugs. I don't know why. Very strange. I don't know what's going on. Background downloads? I don't think so. I need time. Ah! I lack the needed money.
All right, folks, I'm going to wrap up here. Thank you very much for hanging out with me on this exciting adventure. I'm liking Diablo 4 so far. Uh, I don't know when I'll stream again because I'm very inconsistent about streaming. But there you go. Thanks so much and have a great weekend. Bye.